so here we are in the espresso kitchen, ready to bake up a storm this morning with Paco Chef Cohen. Dude, how are you? Welcome back to Espresso. Thanks again. Cool, man. So we are making a dish, a dish just in time for Diwali. Yes, we are indeed. All right. So just before we make, just give us a bit of a background quickly on what, what the celebration is all about. Diwali, festival of light, um, guiding the gods home. You put lights around your house, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And it's just beautiful and there's lights everywhere and people come in, oil lanterns. Yeah. Really, it's time for family, food, festivities. Yeah. Um, Paco wants to be a part of that, so exactly. here we go. So, so what are we making today? Um, we are making Heinz custard biscuits. Nice, nice, nice. Custard nice. powder, then we'll be taking them at the end and we'll be making them all pretty, little bits and pieces on them, putting them together for the family. Normally at Diwali or yeah. Deepavali or whichever it is, you hand out um, baskets or packages yeah. which are gifts to other families of Goodwill and sweet meats. Yeah. And so we'll be doing ours as a little contribution to go into those. This is a perfect, perfect idea. Of course, for the ingredients list, you can just SMS the keyword PACO, P-A-K-C-O, and then you will get all the ingredients on your phone and you will also be entered into the draw to win yourself a set of pots worth 899 Rand. All right, let's get cooking or baking, shall I say? Let's do that. All right. Indeed. You must please let me know what I can do, okay? Oh, you can, your, your time will come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so in here we've got our flour. All right. We're going to add in our sifted icing sugar. Lovely. We're then going to add in our custard powder. Nice. I don't know, it's such a pinkish color. It, it is. It's a little bit of a pinkish color now, but when yeah. you add in milk, it actually gets a beautiful, robust, um, like yellow color. Like, yeah. It's, it's really something sensational. And then we can add in butter. Now, butter is our shortening agent. That's it. And it's got to be butter if you can. If you can't, it's fine. But butter just gives a better like um, crumble. Butter. Yeah, real, real butter. It gives a better crumble, a melting consistency. Cool. We're going to take all these ingredients and we're going to mix them together. Fantastic. So, in the essence of, you know, keeping everybody up to date with what's happening, we're not going to mix this till it's end product, but you are going to carry and incorporate until you get all of this mixed together. Okay, cool. Once you get a dough, you lay down a piece of cling film. Yeah. You place the dough on, which you roll into a, dough, into a roll. Yeah. You cover it up, you seal the ends, and you put it in the fridge to chill. Okay, okay. to chill. To chill. <laughs> Literally to chill Just to chill. Just chill for a bit. We'll be with you in a second. All right, cool. And, and then this is this is what it kind of looks like. When you when you when it comes out of the yes. fridge, right? You had me confused with this. I thought it was a piece of <laughs> butter, cheese. cheese. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like so those, but better. Like those, but better. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're gonna take these, and we're just gonna cut them into our required sizes. Right. So you're doing like what, roughly a centimeter. You're just about a centimeter or so. You want it even again, so it's okay. an even cooking process. You line them up like little soldiers. Right. <laughs> I used to go. work in America and this, I was happy to say, you lines them up like little soldiers. <laughs> and so that's what we do. I can see you very <laughs> intricately placed on this baking tray. <laughs> they really are. Okay, and that's it. So we let's just do two more for good measure. Okay. I'm sure they won't go to waste once they're cooked. That's it. Alrighty. Come on, you have to do one more because you oh, can't leave it uneven. Fine. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't do well with uneven. <laughs> <laughs> like your OCD said. <laughs> We can really cut these if you want. Right, just like that. Yeah, just like that. All exactly right, cool. like that. So, so it's got all the flavoring in there and everything. Really you, need. you don't need anything on it now. Well, you can. Can you? And shall we? Let's. Why not? Let's. So, yeah, we've got jelly tots. Yeah. So we're gonna grab some jelly tots. I'm just oh. gonna put one or two on there. All right. And what happens as they melt, they give you like a slight stained oh. glass effect. So you can oh, put lovely. one or two next to the other. You can also roll the external uh, rooms out in coconut. Works mm. just as well. Yes. And you get like a nice nutty toasted note with them. All right. So pop them into your oven. How hot should it be? It should be about 200 degrees. Uh, about 200 degrees. Plus minus. All right, so now it's done. It goes into the oven. How long do we bake it for? About 15 to 20 minutes until it starts to get golden brown around the edges. And yes. that's when you start pulling it out. And yeah. that's when you start pulling it out. And that would be your end result. That's what we're looking and working towards. Yes. All Fantastic, right. isn't it? That looks amazing. All right, I'm going to grab one. No, I want a chocolate Yeah, yeah, do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it properly. Of course, you can get the ingredients sent to your phone. SMS the keyword PACO to 33728. That's P-A-K-C-O. And you will also be automatically entered into the draw to win yourself a pot set worth just under 900 Rand. Dude, thank you so much, man. Give me a pound. This a is amazing. Let me take. Mmm. Uh. Spice up every braai with Paco and Heinz.